Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to work with Git Ops. Recently, several of my subscribers as well as my followers on te Telegram, uh, Telegram members have asked me to make a video on uh, Git Ops. So basically, when I was searching on YouTube for Git Ops video, I saw tons of videos where they have showed the same thing using Argo CD and Flux CD, these kind of tools to showcase the Git Ops. That is not wrong, I'm saying, but what I wanted to show is like little different. I just understood the concept of GitOps, what problem does it solve and how basically it works and how we could use GitOps with different CI/CD tools. So basically in my video, this video, I'm going to showcase you GitOps with Jenkins. Okay, since Jenkins is known by everyone at this point. So I thought it's better to showcase GitOps feature and GitOps whole process flow with Jenkins. Okay, so everything I'll be guiding you, I'll be showing you, I have already created. So let me show you and like how GitOps works, what exactly is GitOps and why it is useful okay also since before starting the video i would request you kindly subscribe to the channel we are very close to 5000 subscribers also i have a telegram channel which is completely many to many so that everyone can join and send messages okay so if you are having any queries doubt or issues you can just join the channel uh, whatever issues you are having you can just ping there and i'll be happy to reply okay one more thing i have launched my 60 days of devops course which is uh, which is just launched on a different platform whose link will be in the description so if you are interested you can just log in a uh, big coupon is going on as as of now so you can get good discounts also detailed about that the course the syllabus and everything will be in my telegram channel link will be in the description so i would request you kindly check that out okay so with that being said let's get started okay team so just starting the video but before starting i would say to you please watch this whole video till end then only you will understand every single thing and trust me this is the best like this is the probably the best GitOps video that you will find on internet because i have you i have not used argo cd or flux cd because everyone else is using the same thing okay i just wanted to make you understand what exactly is GitOps, what problem does it solve and how we can implement it very easily okay okay so one diagram i have created let me show you okay so let's start by understanding very simple definition of GitOps. okay so the main definition that came out in the beginning was git as a single source of truth okay and as the definition says git as a single source of truth which means key git will be the center of everything okay everything will be done from git and everything will be managed from git okay so for example let me tell you you might have heard about iac which is infrastructure as code okay where we use uh, ansible and terraform to manage configuration as well as manage the infrastructure where we are going to do the deployment okay and everything is basically managed through scripts okay so terraform script you know like terraform scripts can be used to uh, create infrastructure provision resources and all and ansible scripts can be used to automate deployments right okay so similar to that we have git like you know that uh, github or gitlab uh, which uses git so there we store our source code for anything right okay so with GitOps, what actually happens key even for the creating of infrastructure, building your application and deployment of application to any server, everything will be done or through a script. Okay. No manual effort will be required. Okay. For example, let's say key, let me explain you this diagram, which diagram you can see, you can see the center is Git, right? That means every single thing that is, uh, we are going to use the, uh, like the things for building our application things for deployment of our application and things for like uh, uh what is that uh, the infrastructure on which we will deploy everything will be stored in git and manually we are not going to do anything okay everything will be stored in the script format okay so whenever we do any changes inside script format and push the changes inside github repository automatically those changes will be updated on the server side okay for example here if you see uh, look closely Okay, git okay three arrows coming out one is cd which is for deployment of application one is cd ci build which is for building the application creating docker image and pushing the docker image to docker hub repository right and third arrow which is coming towards infrastructure okay so basically what is happening here key uh, like multiple repository i have created inside git one repository will be containing the source code for build and deployment okay so if i do any change in the source code automatically it will start the ci build and it will build the application okay 
and if i do any changes in cuban uh, like the uh, cd repository any changes in our deployment file automatically those changes will be updated on the server inside kubernetes okay similar to that we will be having uh, like uh, scripts for infrastructure so any changes if i want to do if i do it and push the changes to repository automatically it will update the change on the server side okay okay i hope you understand the point okay now i will show you a proper demo live demo okay uh, so make sure to watch it closely and try to understand okay so let me give you an overview of what i have done so this is my uh, github repository okay if i go to your repositories so yeah you can see two repositories uh, i have created which is gitops ci and gitops cd okay now tell, let me tell you what is happening i will open both the repositories so that so that i can explain you what exactly is happening okay so this is the gitops ci so this file basically contains the whole source code which is going to be used for deployment uh, sorry for building okay okay and there is a jenkins file also if you can see if i open it see these are the basic stages i have added git checkout for uh, like uh, creating a local copy of source code then building the application using maven okay then creating the docker image and pushing it to uh, my docker hub repository okay and you know like uh, just one time we need to configure on jenkins side which i will show you in a minute but let me just uh, go one by one things okay okay so in github ci basically this contains the actual source code of the application and the commands to build the application okay i'm not talking about deployment this is just building okay so we are packaging the application and we are creating the docker image right so this is done okay okay so next what we need to do basically we need to make sure that whenever we are uh, like committing any changes okay then automatically the job github ci job should be started and our application should be built and docker image should be pushed okay so for that what we can do in github there is a feature known as webhook okay if i go to settings then you can see here webhooks right so basically what happens webhook is a thing which is used for like automating the builds okay so once you connect it properly then what happens ki whenever we make any changes inside the code for example let me show you for example like see this is the github ci okay so if i go here and let's say open the jenkins file and let's edit it okay so i'll just put a space okay i'll just put a space commit changes okay so as soon as these changes are committed okay what will happen if i go back to repository sorry jenkins and refresh we should be able to see yeah so here if you look closely build number 6 pending finished waiting okay that means automatically you see it started the build automatically started because web through webhook we have configured so that it can build the application and push create the docker image and push it okay if i scroll down you can see here it is uh, it has created the docker image tagged the docker image now it is pushing okay so you can see it is pushed okay let it be okay so you got the point like we have completely automated it so that any uh, any time if i put uh, do any commits or push inside our repository automatically our build will be done okay you can see uh, like build and docker image created and pushed automatically right we did not do any changes on uh, uh, jenkins side right only one time we need to configure the jobs okay separate two jobs i can i have created okay okay so this is done okay for example next we have this github cd which is the deployment uh, repository okay so inside it also what i have kept i have just kept a deployment file okay if i open it you can see it contains the yaml file for deployment and service okay okay so as of now you can see replicas number is 1 and just to show you if i go back to my uh, vm where we, i have deployed okay if i run the command as kubectl get pods okay you can see just one pod is running which is spring boot k deployment okay right okay so uh, now let's say ki i want to make some changes so what i did i went to my repository uh, you remember that i am not making any changes on jenkins right so i went to my github repository i just made changes here i just made the changes that i want two replicas right as of now on my vm you can see just one replica is running right of the application okay i made the changes as to click on commit changes okay and see changes has been committed okay now if we go back to our jenkins uh, open this job you see new build has started new build is in pending status and it will start automatically okay now it is success okay if i open the build scroll down and here 
you can see these were the commands ran it updated on the server side okay and here you can see uh, service is unchanged and we have just changed the deployment dot yaml okay just to confirm it works what we can do we can run here the command again kubectl get pods to see the pods okay click enter and now if you look closely you can see there are two pods of the application right and this is basically how a uh, gitops works what it what happens ki nothing you need to do on the like the ci or cd tool you just need to configure them one time and from next time what we need to do whatever changes we want to make on our uh, applications we just make changes inside the repositories okay like you just saw i made i made changes inside this uh, uh, ci repository then i made changes into cd repository and automatically it started the builds and updated the changes on server side okay okay so i hope you got the point what exactly gitops is doing now again if i open the diagram to make you understand here again just with the help of like we were just making the changes in our scripts that is stored on git and no changes we are doing on inside like ci build or cd build side right whatever changes we were making inside git it automatically was updating everything on the server side okay okay so basically in short this is gitops okay so i i hope you understood the point how i did it okay if you want more details like uh, those details will be covered in my uh, pa paid sessions which i am like uh, doing uh, from 10th august and link for that will be in the description of this video so if you want you can just enroll in with it okay and rest like if you just want the source code you can just have it it is already on my uh, repository right okay so that's pretty much Git gitops and I, I just wanted to let you know that everyone has make a high profit gitops this than that this is how in the simplest possible way you can just explain what exactly is gitops okay managing everything through uh, git only and because git is a single source of truth right okay so i hope this video was useful and i hope you got the point so thanks for watching and have a nice day